take an inventory of all the stuff that we have that we can give away, and then, Chris, that's a great idea. Public relations executive Allison Broad surrounds herself with young employees, mostly in their 20s, so-called millennials. A Memorial Day package. That's the idea. She says they're energetic, tech-savvy, collaborative, but they can also be needy and have a sense of entitlement. These kids have been told that they're the most amazing thing on the face of this earth from the day they were born. Even after the gut-wrenching recession that threw millions of Americans out of work, many millennials still expect favored treatment from employers, just as their coddling parents may have provided. My parents have pushed that for me, told me I was the best at whatever I did, and as a result, I think millennials crave that um, attention, they crave that praise. There's skill in being able to tweet and talk in the same moment. Never has there been such a generation of talented multitaskers and networkers who are able to build business with a few keystrokes on Facebook. But such talents can come with side effects. Employers say millennials have short attention spans and often communicate as they tweet in quick sound bites. They live in a world where everything is 140 characters. They don't want to read more than a few sentences, and they don't read more than a few sentences. They also believe work is not their entire life. The most important factor for them in choosing a new job is a good work-life balance, according to a survey from PR firm Euro RSCG. Salary came in second and work atmosphere third. None of which is to say the millennials are slackers. Many are ambitious. Three quarters believe hard work is the key to achievement. To bring out the best in young workers, bosses need to manage to the millennial style, give lots of feedback, set concrete goals, and consultants say, think of yourself more as a t-ball coach than a boot camp instructor. Because if millennials are not happy at work, they're quick to jump ship. Having seen contemporaries like Mark Zuckerberg become rapid billionaires, many millennials tend to be impatient for success. But the fact is, most of us, even millennials, have to gradually climb the corporate ladder. For CNNMoney.com, I'm Alan Chernoff.